You know those people who believe that slapping the bass is everything and playing with a pick is sacrilegious? Well, those people may want to look away because today on the Jiu Jitsu Bassist, Scene number two. Hi, everybody. That should be like a... Okay, take two. Okay, today we're going to be talking about how I use a pick. No, take three. I know what you guys are thinking. Ooh, two videos in a week. What did we all do to deserve that? Well... You guys, uh, you guys were great. You deserve this. I, just kidding. I know what you're thinking. You must have done something good in your life to deserve this kind of reward of me uploading two videos this week. Whilst I can't speak on that, I just wanted to discuss this quickly. Um, I want to set straight those people who think that playing bass with a pick is somehow the mark of an inferior bass player or is sacrilegious. First and foremost, there is no one right way to play the bass. You play the bass as you're required to play the bass. The most important thing to do is serve the song. If the song calls for you to have a tone that's like pick bass, then do it. Use a pick. If it requires you to do something with your finger style, finger style. Do it. Or slap or tap. Do it. But you cannot force something that doesn't belong there. Like, oh, I'm playing a love song. Maybe I should slap something. If it doesn't fit, then you're the one that's being tacky. Don't do it. Today we're gonna to talk about how I use a pick. There's multiple ways to use a pick, but this is how I use a pick. And, to, and in order to do that, we start playing. Like so, take it away. Me with a bass playing. I am with a bass. Uh, before we start with this conversation, let's talk about why a pick. Uh, again, there is no one right way to play a bass. Pick is correct as long as the song requires you to play the bass with a pick. The main reasons why a bass player would use a pick is because it has a unique attack. For example, because the pick is harder, and it goes against a string, it sounds a little bit like this. If I'm playing an open E string, that's what it sounds like. If I play it with a finger, did you notice that there's a sound difference? The attack of the harder pick makes it sound grittier and harder. The other reason why people, why bass players use a pick is because of, is because there are certain styles of music where pick bass players are more prevalent. And that's usually, that's usually um, metal, hard rock, or punk. Because they play grooves that are very fast. Like that. And some people don't have the finger dexterity to be able to play really quick notes with their fingers and remain consistent. So it's an issue of consistency and an issue of of dexterity, especially because as your fingers get shorter, it's harder to control. So whether you're controlling one, whether you're using one finger, two fingers, three fingers, or four fingers, you need to be able to have consistent, consistent attack on your bass strings. And if you have to, but if you have to do it really fast, it's a bit more difficult. And so that's why people opt to use a pick. Um, that's the reason why people use a pick. The reason why I use a pick is a little bit more um, specialized or a little bit more, um, it's a little bit more specific than that. Sometimes I like to play uh, older songs, like, like you know, songs that have vintage t tones. 
a lot of old Beach Boys, a lot of old Motown stuff. And sometimes the bass sounds like a synth bass. And when you play a synth bass on the keyboard, sometimes it comes out very muffled and very dead. And it doesn't sound like strings at all. Like for example, Everybody Rules the, wor rules the World is a pedal tone. During the verse, it's a pedal tone of a D. I usually play it because not dampening your strings would be like making it very lively. You know, when you want to play a vintage tone, there are a lot of things you have to consider. Your amp, your effects, your strings, your bass, and then your technique. Uh, first and foremost, I have the equipment here. We have Fender Precision Bass, strong with flat bound strings. That's one thing you have to consider. That's one thing that's very common back in the day. It's a thing that you consider when you want to have like a sort of muted tone. But the thing is, if you don't mute the strings of a flat wound, even though the strings are deadened, it's still very lively, so you still need to mute it. So you opt for different, there are different products on the market you can do that. Like you have the, the fret wraps, you have, um, you can cut uh, foam and put it there, or you can do all of that stuff. I've tried them all to no avail. So I said, however am I gonna play this? And then I just played around with my bass, and I found out that I already had the best thing to dampen my strings, to mute my strings while I'm playing. It's this, the fat part of my palm. So what I would do is wherever I would strike the strings, I would first put the fat part of my palm there on the strings. Put a little bit of weight on it, not too much because you'd, you'd kill the strings completely. You just need a little bit of pressure so it, so it won't reverberate further than that. So, yeah, won't reverberate further than that. But, there's a problem. I don't know how to play bass like this with my, with my, with my uh, thumb. I can, I, can do I can do slap. I can do slap. I can do double, double thumb. I can do that stuff. But that would, that would need me to use my wrist. In this case, I can't move my wrist because that would let go of my muting. So I would have to like keep my wrist like kind of stable and play with my thumb. The thing with my thumb is it's that it doesn't have the dexterity and it's very tired. It gets tired after playing the song, so it won't get consistent play if I had to play a whole song with my thumb. And that's why I decided I will use a pick. So instead of playing like a Now I have myself a muted bass. This is the reason why I use a pick.